Good morning. It's another beautiful day here in Sydney. I've been getting a lot of nice days lately. Well, not that much rain. So I'm out for my run today, going through Callan Park. Um, there's a lot of people in Callan Park as well, I guess, since a lot of people, uh, they don't want to go in areas where there is normally lots of people. So they're going into the quieter spots. One of these is Callan Park, which usually doesn't have that many people around. It's kind of nice to actually see this place used. Um, and people exercising and cycling and running and walking their dogs and just hanging out in this area. So properly exercising in this area. Of course, at the moment, just as a reminder, the whole COVID coronavirus situation is still going on. So if you are out and about, make sure it's for a purpose. Um, in Australia, we are allowed to be out and about to exercise. So if you are out and about, make sure that you are exercising or you're out for some sort of other essential reason. And if you are out and about, again, uh, practice your social distancing and also make sure that you're either by yourself or just with one other person. Don't go in a massive group with a bunch of friends. That's not responsible. Be responsible during this time of COVID coronavirus. Hello. So recently I talked about me signing up to the City to Surf once again as a charity superstar, um, which means that I need to raise $1,000 at least for the charity of my choice. Um, so if you've got a spare couple of dollars, please check down in the description box below. I'll leave a link to where you can donate. And I'll be running the City to Surf in costume as I have done the last few years. Uh, it'll be in my lion dance costume, which involves a full single person full body sort of fur suit with a head, which flappy mouth, uh, like the Chinese lion dancing, but just a single person version. And it's definitely not the easiest thing to run in, but it's for a good cause. So running for Australian Cancer Research Foundation, uh, which does research into, well, they fund a lot of the medical and research for cancers, for all sorts of cancers. So it's a very worthwhile cause and I'm running it in the lion dance costume and in memory to my Kung Fu Sifu who unfortunately passed away in 2017 from mantle cell lymphoma. And on signing up for this, I also received a little starter pack, a little nice uh, care package to just say thank you for signing up for this course. So it arrived recently, it was a box uh, from Australian Cancer Research Foundation with a bunch of essential things such as some flour, some uh, moisturizer, uh, a couple of stickers, tattoos, uh, another little, and also included a special little bib to wear to say who I'm running on behalf of for the run, and a bunch of little snacks, of course, which I've already devoured. And the City to Surf this year, I believe, is definitely going ahead. Um, it was delayed from August to October instead, so it gives it another couple of months to help uh, the whole of Australia sort of get over the whole COVID coronavirus situation, which is happening at the moment. Australia actually looks pretty good at the moment in terms of COVID-19 coronavirus. We've definitely been flattening the curve. So we've seen a massive reduction in the amount of cases found each day. It was up to like 300, something like that, cases per day at one point. But now we're down to about maybe five maybe 10 at the most sort of cases per day, which is great. And that means that over the next few months, even the next few weeks, we might start seeing um, a lot of the restrictions that have been put in place relaxed a little bit. Of course, not 100%. You can't relax completely. I heard a good sort of analogy recently. Um, this whole thing is like jumping out of a plane. With flattening the curve, that's what happens when you pull the parachute, you slow your descent but would you completely let go of the parachute while you're still 200 meters above the, the earth? No, that's why you can't completely let go of the restrictions um, that have been flattening the curve. You can't let go until you're sh and sure, absolutely sure that it is safe. Now, if you're considering doing the city to surf, definitely consider signing up for a charity superstar spot. It's easier than you think. You just Go on the website, find your charity of choice and sign up with them. You do need to give a bit of a guarantee that you will reach your uh, ideally about a thousand dollar fundraising target. But then once you've reached that, it's all clear, all easy. Um, so, and you're doing a great thing to help fundraise for charities. And if you do end up signing up for a charity superstar spot, consider running in a costume. 
I think it just makes it so much more fun um, to be running in a costume and seeing people running in costumes and doing sorts of things in weird outfits is just awesome. It's so much fun to see and gives people a laugh. You give people high fives as you're running down the road. So it's just a really nice thing to do. In choosing a costume, you, need, you do need to make sure that the costume is runnable. Uh, if you're doing the city to surf in a costume, you need to be able to know that you can do 14 kilometers in that costume. So the lion dance costume, it's a tough costume to run in, but yes, it is easily doable because there's nothing too crazy that's dangling off me. It's all pretty self, like it's all pretty tight against me. So, and I have run, was it three times? 17, 18, 19, yeah, so three times now in that costume, the full 14 kilometers. So I know it can definitely be done nice and easily. The only slight issue with the costume is visibility. So that's another thing when choosing a costume, make sure that you have decent visibility. Also airflow. So it has an okay airflow, as long as the mouth is flapping open and closed, I can get some air in or I can hold the mouth down a bit to get more airflow. But if you're looking at a costume, make sure that you look at how the air is going to flow through that costume. You're gonna be huffing and puffing and breathing pretty heavily. So make sure that you can breathe through whatever it is that you're wearing. If you've got a, a full face covering, and you can't breathe through it, it's probably not a good costume. You don't want to get halfway through and have to stop um, and remove yourself from the run. You don't, definitely don't want to pass out um, and cause yourself an injury. So make sure you look at that before you pick a costume to run in. All right, well that about does it for me this week. I've got about another eight kilometers to go. So I better get cracking. Thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, run and excess content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.